Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your first week of April general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So Capricorn, I almost said Taurus. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus or you may meet somebody in Taurus season, April, May time frame. Um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, and I just I just heard this tune. I didn't even know who the hell it was. I, I literally had to look it up. I was singing the notes that I did here. <laughs> Matter of fact, I had to go on Google. You know how you can hold on Google and say, hey, Google, what is this song? And then you hum the song. That's what I did. Um, so the song that you guys had was Let Love In by the Google Dows. Okay. Um, in that band, that's a band, so it's multiple people. In that band, you have two Libras. A Pisces and a Sagittarius. So Libra, Pisces, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals may play a role in this situation. We just left Pisces season not that long ago. So something may have happened in Pisces season in regards to your love life, either ending or you met someone. But I'm going to tell you, this is very interesting. And this is not something that I would say, so I know this is associated with you guys. And I had to write it down. What I heard was emotional prejudice is the culprit. Hear me when I say this because people love putting their spin on it. I didn't say prejudice like racism or anything like that i'm i said emotional emotional prejudice is the culprit and right before i started you guys reading i, I heard the message like how it resonated because when i read over it, i was like what the hell does that mean and what i'm getting with that with the emotional prejudice is the culprit thinking about the name of the group the google dows you know how they say like don't be acting all Google and all in the head and loosey-goosey and, and foolish for somebody i feel like that's the prejudice part that i'm getting the emotional prejudice it's like Somebody has emotional prejudice because at one point they would Google over somebody. They would like all in their head over someone to the point that they couldn't see what was right in front of them. And then they, they end up being betrayed or hurt or something like that. And so now they're prejudiced against feeling like allowing themselves to truly and genuinely feel they're prejudiced against that. But that also ties into the song Let Love In because you can't allow the past to dictate your future or your current. That's what I'm getting. Like somebody's like, I don't want to be out Google and, and, and foolish like I was before for this last person because look how that turned out. You, this new person isn't the past person. You know what I'm saying? Either you're going to have to tell somebody that because this is how they're acting or somebody's going to end up telling you that. So let's see what we get for you guys today, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the um, the devil. I almost said the emperor, so some of you guys are dealing with an Aries or this is something that you're dealing with in Aries season, which we are currently in right now. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the devil. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and we'll get clarifiers. Currently at the bottom of the deck, the scales are balancing your life. You cannot allow the past to bother you. It's, it's the past of the past, okay? The past is behind you, so why would you look back? Also, like I said, in this band, you have two Libras, and you do have the Justice card Libra, okay? So some of you guys could be dealing with someone who is a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual. Also, there could have been an ending in Libra season, September, October time frame of any year. Could have definitely been last year because it feels, this energy feels very current. Or it's like this person has been holding on to it for so strong, it, it feels like it's still current that they're dealing with it, okay? So let's go ahead. Yep, wow. So you got the Justice card with her skills, and he got his skills too. Okay, this is you. You're trying to balance the skills after some type of devastation for a lot of you all. Definitely could be you. Some of y'all could have lost everything in a relationship because that justice makes me think about court cases, legalities, the judicial system. Some of you all could have lost everything in the house, the kids, the car, everything. And this is why someone has an emotional pressure. It's like, I'm, I'm never going to allow my emotions to make me fall so hard for someone that I lose everything all over again. I'm getting that also. Now, if it's not you, you can be dealing with somebody like that, or you can meet someone like that. Like, you know this person wants to be with you. You know they're digging you, but they're just going through so much. You got the Ten of Cups, two people sitting down with, some, you know, addressing something that they have in common. So, if you're single, you could be meeting someone who has gone through the same heartbreak, the same devastation that you went through, and that's why how you guys click and connect. Um, but also I feel like this person is going to realize that you're someone that they could work with. You're, you're someone that they could see a future with. I'm getting that also. So let's go ahead. Yeah, they can see it. Then I say see a future and there's that eye. Okay. So I just said somebody they can see a future with, someone they can work with. The eight of pentacles, the actual nine to five put in the work. Some of you guys will meet this person if you're single at their workplace or yours. And also for a lot of you all, 
you could be throwing yourself into work so that you don't think about your emotions or feelings. You got two cards in the very beginning that have cups in it. Cups is emotions and feelings. Okay, yep, 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 yep. You guys are watching what I'm doing. Look, right up under that, the lovers. She's still falling and he's going. He's in her energy still, which means she's still feeling this person. He or she still feels this person's energy, but he's not physically there. So that's confirmation for sure. So let's get the devil and then a card that comes before and a card that comes after. There you go. Okay. So right in front of you, you have again a six of pentacles. So you guys are trying to balance things out in your life for a lot of you all. Building something from scratch because pages are, you know, they're young, they're starter energy. And then right behind it, you got the king of wands. So a lot of you all, you're trying to regain your stability after some type of devastating ending. Now, this is this could apply to you for sure unless you're dealing with a fellow earth sign. So we have earth sign here. Nope, just Libra, Pisces, and Sag. So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a fellow earth sign or this could just be your energy like having to heal. And like I said, starting from scratch, trying to balance and align things after losing everything. Because someone definitely, you know, maybe having to pay a lot of money in child support. I'm getting like somebody may have left the state with a child because they have sole custody and things like that. Because like I'm taking this with me, you know. I just heard the apple of my eye. That's very interesting. I don't know what that's in reference to, but if this person, this person may have said that to you before, this is how you feel about someone. Sun, Leo. Okay, when the sun comes up, a brand new day starts. I'm going to say again, let, let love in. Come on. And I'm, I'm definitely getting something with a child. Child could definitely involve pages or young, youthful. That's a child, preteen, young adult. Something with a child, Okay. Oh, interesting. Let love in. You know how people have a strong love for babies and things like that or wanting to have a child for someone. It's like someone may be fearful, like find out they're pregnant and fearful about it. But it's like, don't fear it because this was meant to happen. Someone actually could literally be pregnant with a son also. Let's par the deck. The world card, travel distance for a movement. Leo again. Okay, you got son Leo and then you got Leo again. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. I keep hearing it over and over again. As I'm talking over, but I keep hearing it. Um, the name of the song is The Space Between. I don't know if this is Dave Matthews Band. I, for some reason, I feel like it is. I keep hearing The Space Between. I keep hearing the hook over and over again. So some of you guys, okay, with the, the um, world card, travel distance, space distance. Some of you guys are keeping a distance between a love interest. And that goes back to what I was hearing. Let love in. You can't keep fighting that. And some of you all don't even know you're doing that. Like you're pushing a love interest away. The space between somebody's name could be Dave or David. Someone's last name starts with a B. I keep seeing a capital B. I'm seeing David, capital B. And it doesn't have to be that this person's first name is David, but I'm, you know, somebody's first, middle, last initial could be D or B. I'm getting it also. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving night in the whole entire deck of tarot, upright, but in reverse, it's like things cannot be moving forward at all. You got nothing but Pentacles here. You got the Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, and then the Knight of Pentacles. So for a lot of you guys, it's definitely you that's having a hard time moving on from some type of devastation. Let love in, Capricorn. Let's get a clarifying for the Six of Pentacles. Okay, shit, you got two cards and I'm taking them. Yeah, and I know I'm in the Wow, what's going on here? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let me show y'all this. Y'all see how that flipped up. Let me show you. Uh-oh, Capricorn. So you got the Six of Pentacles here. You got the Six of Pentacles in reverse here. And you got the Six of Swords. Six, six, six. So they're saying this is you doing this. Six, six, six is associated with the devil. They are saying that it, this is you doing this. You're pushing somebody away and you may not even know it. Because with the Six of Swords, it's like she's going to flow. Her, and I'll tell you something with a child. She or he, this person's going with the flow, right? But you see how her head is hanging low like she doesn't really want to. Um, and I did say somebody could have moved and left the state or something like that with a child. Now this person's like, I'm going to go with you all. Somebody is just still hurt that they, they got left out. You keep, you, you got the Six of Pentacles twice, okay? It's breadcrumbs. Some of you guys are breadcrumbing a love interest. This could be in a relationship that you're in right now and you don't even realize you're doing it. And then for others, it's like you're putting out this energy to the universe like, I don't want to love again because I don't want to be hurt anymore. And so it's like <clears throat> you feel like there's blockages like the universe. Here's the thing. The universe listens. <laughs> it's too intelligent not to hear and see everything that's going on energetically. And so if you're pushing it out there into the universe like, I don't want to be in love again. I don't want to be in love again. Then you're going to keep going through cycles with people who give you the same energy as the previous situation. You're going to keep getting 
brought along for that ride that's going to have you down and out, have you not feeling happy. Also, this could be like reliving that same energy over and over again. Feel like you're constantly just coasting with no direction. You got to let love in. You got to let love in. There's five cards here and of the five cards you have pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. And then, of course, yours. And then the only one that you have right here is the swords. Now, here's the thing. We're in the very first day. Today, as I'm doing this reading right now, is the very first day of Mercury Retrograde. Mercury is, a co is, is associated with communication and mental, so are swords. So, it, it, it's like stuff from your past can be coming to the surface now. That's definitely what happens with Mercury Retrograde. Stuff from your past that didn't have proper closure, some sign and seal conclusion to it, you know, it's coming back to the surface. And some of you guys could be thinking about how you were done dirty. I, could, I just keep getting like, somebody feels like I was done so dirty. And it's like reliving it over and over again. Because it's like she's just reliving this journey over and over again, but she's not happy about it. Again, he or she, put it where it applies. And then you literally got 666, and that's associated with the devil, and you are the devil. So they're saying like, this is you doing this. Now, if you know that you're not doing this, you don't have to leave in a comment saying, hey, me, you tripping. I'm going to delete it. Y'all know I don't argue with people in the comment section. I'm just putting it out here because sometimes we have to see ourselves. You may not see that this is you because his eyes are covered. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. You can see everything that way. So some of you all may not see that you're doing this, and you're pushing somebody away. Because, I, again, I keep hearing the song, The Space Between. Like, you guys are putting the space between you and this individual. You know what I mean? Hmm. So, Capricorn, someone wise and a Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.